This is coal. You've all heard of coal? Most of you probably got this in your Christmas stocking, right? <laughs> feel that. Coal. It's pretty dense. Yeah, feel that. That's coke. So when you, um, and coke is the stuff we're actually going to burn to do our work. So to turn this into this, we just heat it up. And, and it will get a whole bunch of smoke and coke it up. Um, and, and, and then the byproduct of the coking process is uh, clinkers. And let me see if I can find one. Uh, these are your enemy. These are all the impurities from the coal. And uh, a lot of it goes up in smoke, but a lot of it settles to the bottom of the bowl. And this is what you get. And I, the reason they're called clinkers is they have that itchy sound. And they stick to everything. Yeah, so you can always just find them in there and just kick them out. They kick right out. And you don't want those in your in your bowl because they suck the heat out of it. They, they actually wreck your project. So the first thing we'll do is start a fire. This little thing, the rattle you hear, that's a clinker breaker. In order to, to uh, get the uh, coke, the coal going, you need a wood fire. And in order to get the coke going, you need a coal fire. So it all kind of stacks up. Where do you get your coal from? Gosh, everybody asks that. Mm -hmm. Everybody. It's so hard to find. There's a blacksmith in Salmon, Idaho that does everything with bark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you don't need coal. You can use wood. And uh, just, uh, you know, as long as you mix air with stuff. Um, it's hot enough? Yeah. All right. Um, we're going to need the... Yep. How much? Keep bringing it over. And... Let me show you how I, I do it. So this is the air here. This is where the one that has to go the right direction or you'll blow yourself off. And you put this stuff around the edges like this. All right, you take over that part of it. Keep pouring? Yep, and make a mountain in there. I'll put all the fresh coal on the outside, sort of in a ring around the outside. And then as we go, you just sort of push it in as you're, as you're needing to add. And as the close stuff turns into coke, it's ready to go into the middle to get the hottest, the hottest water. Well, let's just throw a chunk of metal in there and get started a little bit. Um, and I'm, not, I'm just going to basically get you guys started and let you have at it. So you're consistently doing that throughout the whole time? Yeah, you're always messing around with stuff. So. Um, a couple other parts of the horn here. This little rectangular spot right here is a cutting table. So if you're doing something where you're actually cutting through the metal, you don't want to mess up the face of your the good face of the anvil. So you put it on the little cutting table there. Uh, there's a couple holes in an anvil. Um, one of them is called a Pritchell hole. That's the round one. And the square one's called a hardy hole, and they're made for holding specialized little tools for cutting and shaping things. It's melting. <laughs> we don't want that. Oh yeah, that's a good example. We got lots of metal, so this is a good example of what happens when it gets too hot. You see how it's actually eaten away. But well, we can fix that. There are no real rules here. No, Just don't burn yourself. That's the part. <laughs> You mess it up, you don't like it, you can squish it into something else or cut it off and start over. It's called make artistic it. expression. Yeah, I'm just right. make a back scratcher out of it. Just move methodically up and down the area that you're going to work on. This is square. If you were wanting to round something, you can work on this half for a little bit and then you rotate it 90 degrees. Because um, the same thing that I'm doing on the top of this and I'm hammering it is happening on the bottom of it because of the flat face of Handle it there. Shoot with sharp bend, you'll want to whomp it at the same time. Right here? Yeah. There you go, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. 
Let me just take it out of there and finish her up. Cinder block comes from the word cinder. It used to be this stuff. It, it was the the byproduct of yeah. It was all the it was all the byproduct of uh, instead of sand, I guess they used cinders. So yeah, there is a use for that. That's a good one there. If I could hold a rip. These tools here, uh, I built the taper on the end of this and um, drilled a hole in here and put wire around it like this, bound it pretty tight. Another way to do it is a hose clamp works really well. And then you uh, just slam it in there, uh, but put epoxy in there first. Epoxy is good stuff. And I, I've used this for a long time and it, it will not break. So that's how you make uh, you know, specialty tools. These are for planting uh, cuttings, poplar cuttings. We planted 72,000 of them this month and using these tools. My whole crew came over and we just, each of us made our own individual tools. Here's a great way to do it. Find an old shovel and just cut it off and use the color that's already there. Still, the epoxy is really important. And more than just make it stick in there, it actually beds it. So it, there's no gaps anywhere. <laughs> 